Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy Jamel back at it with another review. This time, I'm going to give you my thoughts on Birds of Prey, the latest movie from the DC Extended Universe. So, think about Birds of Prey, it's based on the team of the comics. Usually, in the comics, it's a team that revolves around uh, Barbara Gordon, aka um, Batgirl, but she started up when she became Oracle. Um, usually, on the team, there's characters like Black Canary, Huntress. Uh, Hawk and Dove, occasionally a dude will join, someone like Blue Beetle, things like that. They're essentially kind of like an extension of Barbara Gordon Batgirl when she became Oracle after being paralyzed by the Joker. She became sort of the information hacker of the DC Universe, and um, she forms this team. And so the movie, however, um, it's actually not just Birds of Prey, it's Birds of Prey or the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, or after the box office results this weekend, it's now going to be known as Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey. So the movie, it stars Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, reprising her role from Suicide Squad. Um, she was one of the few bright spots in that movie. I watched it um, last year for the first time, and it was okay. Um, I like Will Smith. I like Viola Davis, but for the most part, the movie was kind of forgettable. And I like Margot Robbie. Um, it stars her. She's the full point of the movie. It's focusing on her finally isolating, breaking her off from the Joker. And that's something that's been happening more and more in modern DC comics and DC media. Harley Quinn being finally separated from the Joker for years. It was just a recurring abusive relationship. And now um, with modern comics, she's moved on. She's kind of in a relationship now with Poison Ivy. Um, she's one of the main members of the Suicide Squad, especially during the New 52. And now she's more of an anti-hero in the DC Universe. So the movie kind of picks up from that. <coughs> um, it also stars uh, Journey Smollett-Bell as Black Canary. It stars uh, Rosie Perez as Brene Montoya, character that originated in Batman the Animated Series and eventually becomes the second question in the comics, and uh, Mary Elizabeth Weinstead as Huntress. Um, for the most part, I liked the movie. I was actually surprised with how much I liked it. I was going in, I was expecting it to be mediocre, okay at best, but I actually went in, <coughs> excuse me, had some fun, enjoyed the movie. I think it was it was surprising. Um, this year, um, I said in the previous video, um, this year in movies hasn't really excited me. Um, but the two movies that I've seen so far, Bad Boys and now Birds of Prey, they've surprised me. Um, hopefully, I'll con continue to be surprised throughout the rest of the year. So, anyway, the movie focuses is, focuses mainly on Harley Quinn separating from the Joker. Eventually, she crosses paths with uh, Black Mask, played by Gilbert McGregor. Um, Essentially, with the whole movie, with her breaking up from the Joker, she finds out that everyone in Gotham kind of hates her, and the only reason that they were still, you know, not bothering her is because the Joker was her protection. So she needs to establish, and what she does is she's establishing herself on her own two feet. Eventually, she gets mixed up with this orphan kid by the name of Cassandra Kane. I can't think of the actress's name at the moment, but, um... She did a different take on Cassandra Kane. I know the hardcore Cassandra Kane fans, they're not going to like this interpretation because in the comics, Cassandra Kane is one of the best characters um, in the Batman universe. She becomes the second Batgirl. She's trained and she's literally bred to be one of the deadliest fighters in all of DC. Her mother is Lady, is Lady, <coughs> excuse me, Lady Shiva, the deadliest woman in DC. Her father is David Kane also one of the deadliest assassins, and um, in this movie, we really don't get that. She's not, you know, she's not trained in martial arts. She's not any of that. She's just kind of an orphan street kid and a thief, <coughs> whom Harley kind of takes a shine to, and they end up getting connected. Um, Renee Montoya, uh, the character that Rosa Perez plays, she's, <coughs> she's cool. Um, I do like how they kind of make everything that she says sort of like uh, stuff that would be said in like a cheesy 80s or 90s uh, cop flick. She was okay. She didn't get a chance to shine too much, but I'm hoping that the movie gets some more positive word of mouth and she sticks around because I think she could be a really cool character in the long run. Um, Journey Smollett Bell, she played Black Canary. Black Canary is another one of the absolute best fighters in DC, one of the absolute most badass fighters in the DC universe. 
she showed it a little bit, and she showed her canary cry a little bit in the film, but it's something that I honestly hope that they pick up more on in the future. You know, again, if they decide, hey, we want to reuse these characters again. Um, Mary Elizabeth Weinstein as the Huntress, she was okay. Um, she was she was okay. She was kind of the more super serious person in the movie. Again, she was okay, but I liked the chemistry that the five ladies had when they finally all teamed up and met each other. Ewan McGregor as Black Mask, the main villain of the movie, was excellent. One of my favorite villain portrayals um, in recent memory with any comic book movies. He goes from being like the super fun, kind of flamboyant type of guy. And then immediately, once he decides, oh, I'm evil and I'm a bad guy, he really goes to another level of being a despicable bad guy. And I really liked his portrayal in the movie. I think him and Zaz, um, who um, was sort of his main henchman, um, you know, this is the second time that we've seen Zaz in movies. He was a very, very minor character in the Dark Knight trilogy, but he's, again, a character in this one. He was okay as well in this movie, um, and I like the chemistry that Zaz, uh, Black Canary, and Black Mass had. Uh, Black Canary, she actually works as a lounge singer for one of Black Mass's clubs. And I think Black Mask and Zaz were gay in this movie, and I think that kind of elevated and up their portrayals. Black Mask, he isn't like he is in the comics. In the comics, he's more of a straightforward villain. He's more of a straightforward villain, monster, who really likes torture, um, Read some Black Mask comics because he is one of the darkest Batman villains. Like, the dude one time, like, killed, like, chained up someone, killed her husband in front of her, and then forced the woman to eat her. Like, the dude is insane. Um, he, he's, again, one of the best Batman villains who's not used enough. The last time that he was used in sort of a prominent role was in the Arkham Origins game. Um, but... You know, I, that was a bait and switch. It was the Joker, and I didn't really like that. But overall, the movie was okay. It was a little slow, and sometimes I do think the action, while it was good, there wasn't enough of it. Harley Quinn, she was the star. She kind of got to shine in, in her full role. And I think that going forward, Margot Robbie, I think if she interacts with uh, Robert Pattinson's Joker or even Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, if they do decide to, hey, let's get Wonder Woman involved in this, I think that that can be an even more fun movie. But overall, I think it was good. I'm a little sad and a little disappointed that the box office wasn't quite as much. It's not something that I really care about when it comes to movies, but movies that kind of have more of a female focus and are dedicated more to women, I do kind of pull for them a little bit more, and I want them to be good because that Hollywood does tend to get a little scared when those movies don't do as well. They're like, okay, we'll just do the same old thing. We'll just have dudes do this, and I really don't want that to happen with these group of characters, and I want them to do more with them. So overall, I give it about a solid... Eight and a half, seven and a half to eight out of ten. Um, I highly recommend it. It is, I would say, in the DC EU set of movies. Um, it's not as good as Shazam or Wonder Woman. It's about as good as Aquaman, and so a little bit better than Aquaman, I'd say overall as a movie. So um, yeah, that's the review of Birds of Prey. Do I recommend it? Um, make sure to check out some of my other videos on the channel. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Jamel727 and on Instagram at Jamel727. And catch you guys next time. Peace.